We're on the road with Mickey, we're gonna have some fun. Regardless of the rain or sun, our trip has just begun. So buckle up, let's go, we're about to start the show. And maybe if you like us, you'll see where else we'll go. Hey everyone, I'm Mike. And she's Sophie. And she's Brenda. Hi everyone. And he's Grogu, rocking it as always. He was so short, he had to reach up to say hi. <laughs> but he's there. He's we got there. him. And we're on the road with Mickey. This is episode 170 for May 15th, 2023. And first of all, happy Mother's Day, Brenda. Happy Thank Mother's you. Day. Happy, happy Mother's, Mother's Day, Day, Cindy. Yes. The backstage Thank manager. You. To her mothers and mother, mothers to be, mothers to children that are not yours, and everyone else who supports kids. Mothers, yes. grandmothers, mother figures, future moms, all of you, you guys are amazing. Yes. Absolutely. And today, our feature topic is why you should celebrate Mother's Day and then later on Father's Day at Disney. So we think it'll be a great. Um, topic where we just talk about some of the reasons why you might want to go to Disney for for those holidays and celebrate your mom and your dad. Um, but first, we have some huge cheddar from the big cheese. It's probably none of this is new to anyone, but we want to <laughs> make it out there anyway. So I'm going to start us off. And the first big bit of news is that 2024 Disney vacation packages will be available starting May 31st. So if you are looking to plan your trip for next year, reach out to Brenda. She's Brenda at PixieVacations.com or myself. I'm Mike at PixieVacations.com and we would love to help you plan your trips for next year. Fun! Yay! Also back in 2024, the Disney Dining Plan. Oh, my God. The Disney Dining Plan. Yes, you heard us right. No, not free dining, but the Disney Dining Plan. So you can add the quick service or the Disney Dining Plan to your package quote for beginning May 31st for arrivals January 9th, 2024 or later. Yeah. Very exciting. Very, Very exciting. exciting. Okay, then, and I guess it's my turn now. Also starting on January 9th, 2024, no longer will we be needing to make park reservations, which means we can just drop in and visit whichever parks we want to visit as long as we have tickets. Exactly. Woo! The only thing I'm not looking forward to about that is there are probably going to be a lot of crowds. I don't know. I mean... I don't there, know. There might be. Because the crowds were there anyway. So. Yeah, they're there. <laughs> yeah, but I worry it might be even more now. There's we'll have to wait and see. We will have to wait and see. So, but those are all huge changes, and it's all back to a normal thing. You know, back to normal. Getting your dining plan ahead of time. Um, not having to make park reservations. All these sorts of things. So yeah. it's it's exciting for us anyway. It um, is. I hope it is for you guys as well. So that's our cheddar. There was more cheddar, but we're gonna stop there. Actually, no, I got one more cheddar. One more Please cheddar. Do I tell. was gonna have Sophie tell it, but I forgot to mark it down so she doesn't know what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Um there will be season three of the Bad Batch <gasps> on Disney Plus. <gasps> Oh my goodness. We have to catch up. Let's be real. We have to be catch we do have to catch up. Sophie and I are behind in our bad batch. I've never I, seen You've never seen a single episode, have you? I don't oh, watch yes. much TV. Yeah. That's fine. But yeah. Sophie and I like it. It's it's yeah. really kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But um it might be the last year for the bad batch. Ooh. So we'll have to see someone, one of the producers or someone said that we're looking forward to seeing everyone in the final season of season three of the Bad Batch. So I hate when they do that. Yeah, but I, I don't know. 
maybe it was just for him. I don't know. But anyway, so Bad That's Batch true. season three will be out. It will be coming out um, sometime later. I don't know exactly when. No date's been announced yet. That so. sounds pretty final to me, though. Yeah. So anyway, there's my fourth cheddar. Now we're moving on. <laughs> So feature topic is why you should celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day at Disney. And what we're going to do is, you know, today is Mother's Day. And well, yesterday, today, if you're on YouTube, it's because YouTube comes out on the 14th um, and the audio comes out on the 15th. So it's either Mother's Day or it was Mother's Day yesterday. Or it's Mother's Day a few days ago if you hear the audio later or watch it. Like, whatever. You know what I mean. Just It's Mike, Mother's Week. Let's be real. Mike, just stop talking. <laughs> 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 At some point, it might have been Mother's Day. <laughs> or it's coming. <laughs> or it's coming. Okay. <laughs> point is, sometime this week, because we're sure you're watching this the week that it gets released, sometime in this week it was Mother's Day. <laughs> now let's continue. <laughs> and we want to talk about why you should celebrate it at Disney. Um, and we have some ideas. We're just going to kind of shoot out some different things, you know, different topics, different reasons why celebrating your mom and your dad at, at Disney is kind of a cool thing to do. So who wants to start us off? You. you I'll start. You start, I'll start us off. All right. Yeah, because I heard Daddy was silent. Aunt Brenda was saying you. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, guess it's got to be me. Well, if there's one thing I know about my mom, she likes her Mother's Day and her birthday and all the celebrations regarding her to be low key. But you cannot deny that the weather at Disney for Mother's Day is just that bit better than the weather at Disney for Father's Day. It's in springtime, so you're not cold like you are in autumn and winter, but it's not sweltering hot like it is in June. So, obviously, the best thing about Mother's Day at Disney is the weather. It's just one of the best times to go, and I'm sure a lot of people would agree with me on that. Yeah. Which is why I expect that the crowds for Mother's Day weekend, just as they are in my public store with everybody buying Mother's Day cakes, are going to be really, really crowded at Disney. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah, that was actually on my list. The awesome. weather, the, the May temperatures are absolutely perfect, in my opinion. Yes. Um, so... Yeah, I think that's that's a really good point. Not too hot, not too cold. I can just picture in my mind brilliant blue sky, not a cloud in the sky, just gorgeous temperatures. Um so I can picture it too. So yeah, I think that's a really good point. Yeah. All right then, who's next? Mike Mike's next. Okay. Well, um, I was going to say that for our particular mother that Sophie has, one of the best things you can do is you can buy her multiple Mickey premium ice cream bars <laughs> as gifts. <laughs> You're right. Because even if you can get them in the store, they are not the same thing as getting them at Disney. Not oh, no. Close. Not even oh, close. <laughs> so Mickey premium ice cream bars as gifts for mom at Disney. That's where it's at. That's an easy peasy <laughs> gift to give. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Especially since she won't get them for any other occasion, no matter if we're at Disney or not, because she has so much self-control. Yeah. And that's what yeah. we love about moms. They seem to have everything under control. <laughs> Some do. <laughs> 
That's why I said they seem. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Brenda. It's your turn. No putting it off. Well, aside from awesome Mickey premium ice cream bars, which are a wonderful gift, the greatest gift that any mom can receive is time away from everything that's work related <laughs> with her kids or her grandkids if she's a grandmom because there's there's just nothing better than time with our family. I mean, oh. being being at Disney and having fun with your kids and having them see you and you're riding rides and your hands are up and you're just having a great time. And it's, it's so much better than clean your room, get up, get dressed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It sounds like it's better. Yeah. I mean, we want special time with our kids. We don't want to always be, you know, a drill, yeah. drill master. So that's the best way to celebrate for sure. Being in a fun place and just enjoying time together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great gift. Yep. Yeah. All right. That's a good one, Brenda. Mm -hmm. Another thing that I think mothers really enjoy, at least I know my mom does, is her favorite flower, which are daisies. And that's why Daisy Duck is her favorite Disney character. I don't but you know, think I knew that. Oh, yeah. Her favorites are daisies. And you know something else about flowers? The Flower and Garden Festival. Most of the time, it is still going on in early May when Mother's Day hits. Mm -hmm. And mothers like flowers. I'll tell you that right now. If you all didn't know that... <laughs> rock have you been living under but moms like flowers so go find out which one's her favorite and i know my mom she loves daisies so if i get the chance to find her a daisy at the flower and garden festival whether it's a duck or a flower <laughs> i know that i've done a good job there you go awesome that's a good one. That is a good segue into it, too, thinking about the Flower and Garden Festival, you know, because I hadn't even thought of that. So that's really good. That's a really good one, Sophie. Thank um, you. You know, one of the things, playing off of what Brenda said a little bit, um, one of the things that's kind of neat is, you know, as you get older, as your kids grow up and whatever, especially if you have a, a lot of them, um, it might be a situation where they're all over the place, you know, like, you know, for, for my mom, she's got her daughter, my sister that is up in her area and we're down here in North Carolina. So mm -hmm. we're not that, you know, we're, we're close, but we're not that close. Um, but if everyone's all over the place, maybe you could celebrate mom and dad at a convenient location that everyone can go to. Yeah. And so you're not having yeah. to play off. Well, I see, I see Timmy this year, you know, and next year I'll see Tommy, you know, or whatever. So having that, that all location where everyone can come together to celebrate both mom and dad, you know, and maybe if you're not there right at mother's day, maybe you plan it in the middle so that you're there to celebrate both of them, you know? Yeah. That's so. very good. So central location, Central Florida, to be exact. Yeah. <laughs> so just a thought on that, you know. It does have amazing weather down there. Let's just be honest. Mm -hmm. So that was on mine. That was a good one to have. Very good. And when you think about maybe ways you can surprise your mom or dad with a trip to Disney... One of the one of the cute ways to do it is what I did with my husband. We took him for uh, Father's Day in 2009. I had Mickey ears made with best dad uh, embroidered across. Uh -huh. the <laughs> yeah. that I sent him. And let me show that picture. Yeah. Oh, let's see here. There they are. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I'm getting there. There it is. Start sharing. Oh my 
gosh. Yeah. That is so That's cute. That. Yep. He opened that up and I told him we were going to Disney. He was just like a kid. <laughs> so there you go. What a great trip. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. Yeah. That looked like it was a lot of fun. Yeah. 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 Fun memories. Mm -hmm. Let me write this down. So surprising dad oh. with best dad ears. Our kids were in their pretty late teens then. Uh, Kristen was 18 and Joshua was 16. I think. Let me see. Yeah, I think around then. Yeah, he might have been still 15. But they were, you know, it's right before they're getting ready to head out in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was a, a really, really fun way to spend that Father's Day. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it sure is. Johnny was already out of the house. Oh. Making his way downtown, walking fast, faces. <laughs> 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 she got to lighten the mood after that one. Jeez. <laughs> Sophie, what's going to lighten the mood? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess. You know what? Let's be honest. Father's Day is in June. Uh -huh. I was born in June. This is true. So let's be honest, Daddy. As much fun as it is going to Disney with you for my birth, I mean, Father's Day. <laughs> 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 you would not be a father if it weren't for me being born in June. So I'm just naturally, with my perfect timing and everything, the best Father's Day gift there ever could have been. This is very true. No <laughs> argument on that one. <laughs> I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. what are you saying? What's the tagline? <laughs> the tagline is that Mother's Day is awesome, but Father's Day should have some credit, too, because it falls at the perfect time of year for my birthday. So naturally, every birthday trip for me is a Father's Day trip for Daddy. Yep. It's a dual celebration. And it works so well. Yep. yep. And last year we were at Disney celebrating yep. Sophie's birthday. I mean, and it Father's was Father's Day. Day and it yeah. was Father's Day. That's right. So we yeah. were doing both. That yep. was fun. And that was not our first time being there for Father's Day weekend and Sophie's birthday. Not, oh, no, it was not. Not nearly our first time. Yeah, probably our fifth or sixth time. Oh, yeah. It happens a lot. <laughs> Yep. Well, I got so. it one up Jagan somehow. Her birthday falls on Thanksgiving a lot. So clearly my yeah. birthday has to fall on Father's Day. There you go. <laughs> All right. So, All right. well, you know, back to the central location kind of idea. Mm -hmm. You know, even if your family isn't all Disney nerds like we are, um, Despite that, being able to, quote, sacrifice and go to Disney for mom. <laughs> it's not sacrificing. <laughs> They're still going to find something for everyone to do and enjoy. Yeah. I don't care if you're not a roller coaster fan. If you don't like Expedition Everest, you don't ride it. If you don't like Flight of Passage, maybe you'll like Navi River Journey. If you don't like Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, maybe you'll like Splash Mountain. Not, because it's not there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you'll like, instead, you'll like to go up to Liberty, to Liberty Square and go ride the Haunted Mansion. And I'll if you don't you. like haunted houses, then maybe you'll like Country Bear Jamboree. Or It's a Small World. Small World. And if you don't like It's a Small World because of the song, well, then maybe you'll go across the street to Peter Pan's Flight. Mm -hmm. You know? And like I said, there's something for everyone, regardless of what you like or don't like. You will find something that you will enjoy. Even if you're just sitting on Main Street watching the piano guy play by Casey's Corner. You know? Yeah. And, and eating a hot dog. 
or the Dapper Dans. Or the Dapper Dans or Watching the parades them. or. There is something for everybody. Something That's the point. For everyone. That is the point right. of Disney. Yeah. Right. So. So everyone will have a good time doing at least one thing. They will have mm-hmm. a good time. So. So that's the way they can have a good time is, you know, we like to be around people and get together and have fun, but we also need some time away sometimes. Just a little quiet, just like me time. And a spa is a great place to to have some special time. You can get your mom or dad a special massage. Or let's not forget, there's a lot of dads and moms that love to golf. Some of the family might be at the parks riding rides, but mom or dad might be on one of the great golf courses at Disney. There's just a lot to do. You're very right. You're very, very right. Yeah. Yep. A lot of fun. I have dads that plan the golfing while the families do it, doing the rides, but I have the opposite too. Sometimes, you know, it's the moms that want to do a massage while. You know, maybe the grandparents are taking the kids to the park for a while or mm-hmm. five Yeah. So there's just a lot of different things you can incorporate into your trip. Yeah. yeah there are. And, you know, I'm going to let Sophie talk, but I'm just thinking through my head of one more idea that I have <laughs> that just came to me. So, Sophie, well, you go. Don't, no, go on, Daddy, because I was just going to say an overarching thing. So, go on. I want to well, hear your idea the, first. Tell me the overarching. It's kind of more like a conclusion, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, for me, um, you know, typical Mother's Day, typical Father's Day, what do you do? You go see Mom and Dad. You make a reservation you have dinner somewhere you say mom where do you want to eat okay mm-hmm. and, and she says i don't know where do you want to eat <laughs> true very true <laughs> <laughs> so you book a restaurant and you hope she likes it but she will because you're there you know well in this case maybe maybe what you're doing is you're booking garden grill for mom you know because she likes seeing mickey and pluto or maybe she wants to eat at Chef Mickey's, or maybe she wants to eat at Cinderella's table, or or wherever, 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 you know. So, in addition to your trip, you also make a great dining reservation to celebrate mom. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Or you if you're Brenda, Ohana. you go to Ohana. <laughs> or if you want a special dessert, we all know where to go. Yeah, we go to Raglan Road. <laughs> Yeah. And you know what? Okay, now I'm going to say the conclusion because I think we covered pretty much everything. Well, Brenda, do you have anything else to add? I don't. I can't think of anything else off my head. Okay. Okay, then. Well, the final thing is this. When it comes to moms and dads, they are not children. They do not have these high expectations like a child would on say their birthday or Christmas although some of them might for their birthday but not for mother and father's day as long as you do something with them in mind it does not have to be booking a trip to Disney it does not have to be a giant bouquet of flowers it doesn't have to be a dinner reservation as long as you think about them on that day you'll find that they will be happy. And I'm not saying that you need to set the bar so low that you could step over it. That is the bare minimum, but that's the core of it. Thinking about them and doing something with them in mind. And if you can take them to Disney, if you can take them to the Garden Grill, if you can find them a daisy duck and a giant field of daisies at the Flower and Garden Festival, boom, you're winning at life. But sometimes all it takes is a call saying Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day, and that's that. Yeah, because you're right, Sophie. All of these suggestions can, you don't necessarily need to celebrate. If you can't celebrate at Disney, 
regardless of what you're doing, think of your mom, think of your dad, celebrate them in a way that matters for them. You know what we're doing, Brenda? What? We are taking Cindy to the movies to go see Grease. Oh, fantastic. 45th av- anniversary of Grease. Awesome. She's been watching that TV show, Rise of the Pink Ladies or something. She's been watching that a lot. I haven't seen that. And, and it's on, I think, Netflix. No, it's on Paramount, I think. Yeah, but um, It's got some language. Let me just it tell you. It does have some language. You got to be careful of that. But she, she, we never, none of us have ever seen Grease in the movie theater. Mm-hmm. I... Please came out like 40 something years ago not 25 years ago 45 45 okay. i thought you said 25 i'm like no no <laughs> actually i was a teenager when greece came out and i saw it you're gonna die when i tell you this you're gonna die i saw it in the theater as a teenager 32 times wow <laughs> I knew and here I thought why I still know every single line. I know the bloopers in the movie that I spotted way back when. That is, I've seen that movie so many times. And every time it's on, like if it, if I accidentally happen upon it and it's on the TV, I'll watch it again. Yep. And here I thought you taking me to see Frozen nine times in the theaters <laughs> was excessive, Daddy. I knew you were gonna bring up Frozen. Sophie. Yeah, you took Sophie. me to see it nine times. Let it go. <laughs> if daddy isn't careful, I'm going to leave this call. You can't. You got to do history. If you don't, then I have to do history for you. Okay, fine. But only because and then I'll I... Have to stop so for you. Remember, you don't want me doing all this for you. You're right. You're right. Okay, fine. Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Just I love remember, you, you're the one that he wants. <laughs> No, I'm pretty sure he wants my mom, not me. <laughs> anyway, 32 times, Brenda. Wow. Just in the theater. Not even to mention how many times I've seen it since then. Yeah. Yeah, my friends, well, especially one friend, Melissa Capito, and I used to, I used to spend the night at her house, and we would literally act out the whole movie together without, I mean, we knew it. We knew it. It was like crazy. So much fun. So much fun. I love, yeah. I love it. It's going to be amazing. Y'all are going to have a great day. Oh, we're going to have so much fun with that. We're going to have a good time watching that. Yeah. All right, then. All right. Well, that, I think, is a fitting conclusion to our feature topic, don't you think? I would agree with that. And just one more time, happy Mother's Day to yes. everyone out there. Yes. Happy Mother's Day. Yes, happy Mother's Day. Okay, then. And I guess it's time for some Disney history for May 15th. Yep. So take it away, Sophie. All right, then. Well, I'm taking you all the way back to the year of 1928. Can you guess what happened then? (laughs) (laughs) Someone who's 95 years old. This year. <laughs> 95 this year. It's a certain mouse. Wow. However, I don't think it's who you're thinking of. I mean, what you're thinking of. I don't think I am either. Go ahead. Plain Crazy. Walt's first silent short to feature Mickey and Minnie Mouse premieres as a sneak preview at a theater on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles, California. The film, a parody of the Charles Lindenberg craze, has cost $1,772 to make. (laughs) Even by today's standards, that seems like a lot. Plain Crazy also features the very first appearance of Clarabelle Cow. Bingo. It is co-directed by Walt Disney and Oob Iwerks. Iwerks is also given credit as the main animator, although he is assisted by Hugh Harmon and Rudolf Ising. This is the last Disney project Harmon and Ising worked on as they have jumped to a new studio formed by Charles Mintz. 
the two will later leave Mintz's studio and go on to start Warner Bros and Metro Golden Mayer Animation Studios. Sound will be later added to Plane Crazy and officially released on March 1929, four months after Steamboat Willie, which is why Steamboat Willie is credited as the first, even though it is actually Plane Crazy. Yep, because Steamboat Willie was the first release. with sound. First with sound, yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, if I remember what I heard, I don't think Plane Crazy had that big of a reception. That big it of a, might not have. A, that big of a thing. And, it, and so when Steamboat Willie came out, then they were like, hey, let's re-release this. Add the sound to it and everything. And I think that's what really knocked it over. But that's great. Yeah. That's great Are history, yeah. Sophie. Another yeah. thing I realized, and I've had this in the back of my head for a while. What is the name of the main antagonist in Pixar's Up movie? Yeah. It's Muntz. Charles Muntz. Yep, it was deliberate. It was very deliberate. <laughs> And that is just my little bit of trivia before Daddy tries to stump the Soph. Oh, I have no yep. expectations of stumping Sophie on this I one. I wouldn't either. I know, but you can still try. Humor me a little. I am going to try. <laughs> um, I have three clues. All right. They're somewhat vague and then okay. not vague all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> So this character is a teacher. Joe Gardner. Who's Joe Gardner? He's from a Pixar movie. I'm taking he's not the one. No, he's not the one. This character gives students rides. Gives students rides to a teacher. That gives students rides. Okay. And this character sings songs. Oh. Do you know it, Brenda? I don't know the name of it, and I'm probably totally wrong. I'm thinking the teacher from Nemo, but I don't know what his oh, name is. Oh, Mr. Ray. Yeah, it's Mr. Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to Brenda. I didn't know what his name. I, I am not the name person. That's why I could never do this like Sophie. But yeah, like you still helped me because I was about to be stumped. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, oh, it's right there. How could she not know? <laughs> <laughs> yep. yep, Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray is That's a teacher. So Way to go, you, girls. Tag team for the win. <laughs> the A team right here. Thank you. <laughs> I was not going to have that blow to my pride. <laughs> well, good. You got it again. Mr. Ray. Good. That's a great character. He is a he great is. character. Yeah. You know? And his songs are cute. Yeah. yeah. Let's go explore, explore, explore. Let's go explore the open sea. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So That's yes, really Mr. Ray from Finding Nemo. Yay! Wow. She knows the name of every character, I swear. <laughs> Not I every just can't, I can't even. <laughs> just can't. I can't even either. All right. Well, that was Stump the Soap. And now it is time for a little bit of Walt. Yeah. And this one is... Well, this one's kind of deep, but I think a lot of people are kind of feeling like this sometimes right now, so I went with it. Go with it. <laughs> As I remember, it was the toughest period I've had in my whole life. It wasn't a worry of losing anything. It was just sort of a big disappointment in a lot of things, but something comes out of it. Sometimes you've got to build yourself up and explode. And then you begin to pick up the pieces and take stock. Wow. Walt Disney. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you're absolutely right. You know what? 
it's it's amazing other than the bible the quotes of walt disney are timeless that's true other than the bible there is absolutely nothing more than a walt disney quote that speaks across generations over and over and over again that's right i mean because he was probably referring to when the when he lost oswald i'm guessing um or maybe when one of the films didn't do as well as they thought it would do and they or when they were you know up to their ears in debt trying to get disneyland built or something like that or when they you know he you know like his whole life his dream was to buy a home for his his parents and then he he's able to finally do that and then his mom dies it's like he may have it just sometimes you just get down you know yeah he's right you sometimes just have to grow with it until it's until you've dealt with it and then just pick back up and keep moving yeah did good quote time time again right yeah exactly exactly so so thank you brenda yeah. Great quote. Yeah, I think I think we have a habit on this channel of sort of placing Walt on a pedestal. I think And he can... does deserve to be on a pedestal. Yeah. He is a legend. But I think if we're not careful, we'll forget that he is also a man. Yeah. This yeah. is one of the well, quotes man. that reminds me of that. Mhm. Yep. All right. Well, that wraps us up for this week, my friends. Next week, we are going to do a deep dive. Okay. We're going to the Disney dining plan hasn't been around since what? 2019. Yeah. We are going to get into the nitty gritty. What is so many people may not even remember what the Disney dining plan is. We're going to talk about it and we're going to try and answer the question. We're going to give you enough information so that you can answer the question for yourself, which is, should I get the Disney dining plan? Okay. So we're going to go through some of the ins and outs of it, what it's about, what you do, why it works, why it doesn't work maybe. And we're going to help you come to an understanding and a decision of whether or not that's something you should add to your vacation package. So that's what I thought we would do next week. Sound good, girls? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Okay. Well, that is our feature topic for next week. Until then, I'm Mike. She's Sophie. That's Brenda. He's Grogu. He was sleeping, wasn't he? No, he was not. Oh. He just did not want to exert so much energy trying to reach the he bottom of just, the screen. He was just <laughs> resting his eyes, wasn't he? No, he's just short. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, shh, shh, shh. go back to sleep, Gerber. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's not happy with you. You realize he's in the perfect position to stomp on your feet, right? Yeah, he probably is. But anyway. Short power. Short power. Anyway. We hope you all have a great week, and we will see see you on the road. road. Bye. Bye. Bye, everyone. (laughs) Short power.